You're watching the TC MMA podcast. Big story of the day is that the UFC's antitrust lawsuit settlement agreement has been nixed by the judge. And the judge set a trial day for October. 335 mil, big money for the fighters. Uh, they're not going to get that, at least as of right now. And that could be good or bad. That could be good or bad. Saying, we obviously disagree with this ruling, this is the UFC, and believe it disregards the expertise of counsel from both sides, as well as an accomplished and expert mediator, all of whom have decades of experience in antitrust case law, UFC officials said in a, a recent statement. It prevents athletes from receiving what they have argued is in their best interest and unwinds an extensively negotiated settlement that in the place of uh, plaintiff's counsel's own words would far surpass a typical antitrust class action settlement. So why did they do this? Why did the judge do this? I mean, he must have saw something there. Obviously, he disagreed with. Is there a, a hidden ulterior motive? Who knows? But really what this comes down to is from the stance of the fighters, they might get a lot more. They're saying it could be up to three bill. That's like nearly 10 times as much the fighters could get if it goes all the way through and then it goes through all the appeals process. So how long is that going to take, right? Um, on the other end, it, the fighters could get nothing. So this could end up being very, very good for the fighters or very, very bad for the fighters. And we won't know that for some time. And even if they do go to trial in October and there's no delays before then, when we do get a, a ruling, then it's going to be appealed probably by one side or the other. So, you know, this thing is going to go for a while. That's why it would have been better just to take this agreement. Both sides sat down. That's what they agreed upon and uh, finish it up like that. But no, instead they, uh, the court punched the football and uh, they'll revisit this. So, we don't have an answer on this right now. And of course, you, you know, you got, this is a side thing, but you got the UFC looking forward to uh, their rights deal coming up, saying there could be on potential m uh, multiple platforms. The, the price is going to go up even if ESPN gets to keep it. I mean, so you have all these things at play. The, the UFC is just skyrocketed in value. And I don't know how much that weighs on this decision or if at all, but it just seems like all this stuff is happening at the same time. You know, and the UFC may have felt comfortable. Like, okay, we got an agreement here. And, uh, you know, I don't think it slows them down one way or the other in terms of what they're thinking and doing day to day. Right? But when you think you got an agreement settled and you can start to move forward, it's like a little bit of a weight off your back. E even as big as the UFC is, it's a weight off their back. And you can start focusing on the future. But now they get pulled into the past once again. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call, UFC at its height, yeah. bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, step up, step up, step up. wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon, walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass.